Hello YouTube, I'm trying my best to give the finishing touches to this new painting and uh, what I did is that I applied some colored pencils on some of the details and I'm, I was, I'm basically almost done with it but um, I just wanted to share with you guys. So I was actually, the way that I introduced the video was as to when you're disappointed or you feel like you don't want to do things or you feel like you don't want to do art for X or Y reason and what actually helped me to develop a kind of like a pattern to continue doing it which is not easy to do especially if you are not a full-time artist um how do you find like the strength and how do you find like um what makes you keep doing it I feel like in my case it's more about I have to do it just for my sanity but at the same time that's not easy to do like I said so what I do is like something very simple but it could be very helpful is that I watch other people I watch other people doing what I love and I don't know it just first my wanting to do the same thing and do work just for the heck of it because I feel like not only helps me mentally but it's just in general, it just makes me a better artist and it makes me just a better person. Like, my whole mood just changes when I paint. I just get completely, like, relaxed and I, I, get, I go back to myself. So, actually, it helps me mentally as well. It just gives me that oomph that I need to end the week or right now. And it's just, like, also very relaxing for me. So, you know, I use it as a therapy as well. The other thing is that I go back to like old masters and people that are like, that were like really good painters or it doesn't really doesn't matter. People that were doing the same thing that we do, but we're talking about the past and like how they survived all the obstacles that probably were on their way and how they got to the point where they were renowned or where they found their niche or whatever. And uh, that's what I do. I watch um Tutorial, not tutorials. I watch like documentaries and stuff like that that I know that I can follow along and listen to it or read even about artists that you know that I'm very acquainted or very interested. I really do this with not just one artist, but everything or anybody that actually that I find interesting. I just go around and try to listen to. Um, their story or like I said documentaries and stuff like that so a lot of stuff but the best best thing to actually just continue painting is actually doing it which is like the hardest part for me like I said I'm not a full-time artist um I used to but you know life life changes and it's okay I learned to also appreciate those life changes because they have teach me a lot and have also I feel like it has also humbled me to kind of just do what I can and not feel bad about it because I used to feel like somewhat guilty if I couldn't pick up a brush one day but then I realized hey you know what now you have other responsibilities so don't beat yourself up as much as you know I want to do that because we also you know like we tend to be dramatic sometimes or at least in my in my <laughs> My experience, I tend to be dramatic. Oh my god, I can't paint. And I get my molly mole downs once in, once in a blue moon, but I do. So, a bunch of stuff that I can do, but the best thing is actually do it. And just stay practicing. And try your best to, I don't know, to just uh, keep doing it. I feel like it's the best thing. But following others along and seeing the other's videos and just getting ideas there's nothing wrong with that sometimes i just come with uh, with different even though my style is very traditional i also follow people that do pop art people that do like um abstract and stuff like that it just to keeps me going sometimes like i would like to try that and it just pours your creativity and it just makes you um makes you do it another thing is actually just to put it on paper like today such and such it doesn't matter how you feel just to put it on paper okay so i'm going to take one hour to do art and uh not necessarily time yourself because if you're busy like myself and you have a full-time job or whatever 
maybe perhaps 20 minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, a sketch or something that just to keep you going. That that should be all. Because, you know, if you're very, very busy and you don't do this full time, it could be a, a little bit um, difficult. So also I learned to do that because, like I said, I don't have... I don't I no longer have two hours or one hour or whatever I really don't have it so I have to go and conform with what I could what I can do for the day so even if it's 10 minutes or five minutes or whatever you know I appreciate those minutes and try to do as much as as much as I can and uh, the other thing is like just to feel grateful like I feel like art for me it's like a gift so I'm so grateful and if you do it full time like oh my god I have so much respect for you because it is not easy a lot of people's like what do you mean it's not easy no it's not easy you know like you do a work and you don't know how it's going to make other people's react and if you're if you know artists go with okay I'm gonna do this and I don't know what's gonna happen like I can I can feed my family out of it or I can or I have to do it all over again Sometimes these people take weeks, sometimes months to finish a piece. So I can imagine doing it full time. Like that's uh, definitely like I have to salute you because it's uh, it's mind boggling to create and survive out of your work. And I know that a hundred percent is a whole lot of hard work. I know for sure. So for those who do it full time, I have to give my hats to you. You know. So a lot of things that I do, I feel like other people do, but if you write it down and you put it on paper, I feel like it's somewhat like very helpful because when you put something on paper, like I have to do this, is sort of like your brain is like, oh, you have a to do and you have to do this. So that also is very helpful. And like I said, just watch videos. Um, another thing that I actually learned that I actually talk about it in the other video, but I was like, I'm not, I'm not sure if I want to put it because it was too long. Um, the other thing is that I <clears throat> go on to artists' websites. I mean, this is just my, this is just how I do it because I love to give and I love, I, I wish I could just do more than just two or three people. But I go to artists' websites, people that have, like, Patreon and people that are, like, full-time artists that I know that, wow, like, their art, it doesn't matter if the art is great or not. It doesn't matter. I actually support these people because I feel like I will, well, I will have want the same amount of support from my artist friend as I'm giving it to them. I don't know what it is. I just feel like the compromise to help because I know how difficult it can be. And what I do is I like, support other artists. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with you buying somebody else's art. If you could afford it or you can do it, I said go for it. Because, I don't know, it just makes me so proud. What I used to do with my work, with my compadres, my artist compadres, is like I used to exchange work that they liked in exchange for my work. But sometimes, it doesn't matter. I used to pay for it because... I don't know, like, I feel like I'm supporting something good. And not only that, you know, you're supporting the artist. And that's, like, a big deal for me because I know how hard it was in the beginning. So a lot of stuff just to keep you going, just to keep you in the art mode, in the mojo, and just to make you an overall happier artist in person. I feel like those are my most tips. I'm sure there's a hundred tips out there and there's, like, a bunch of gurus when it comes to this stuff, but... Personally, that's what have helped me, and so I'm passing it on. All right, so I am about to finish this one and post it on my Twitter. You can actually find me on Twitter, and my name is Vargas Art Studio. I'm going to try my best to kind of just change everything to the same last name, but until then, that's where you can find me. And um, that's it. I'm going to post this on Twitter, and I'll see you around. You can definitely DM here. I don't have much of experience in YouTube. I'm basically starting over. Even though I've been doing art for a while, I feel like, wow, start over from scratch. It was like, I'm overwhelmed. And of course, you know, I don't have like a fancy camera or lights and stuff like that. So you have to forgive me for now. But I just hope that I gave you tips and... 
I sprout out your wanting to do, you know, that's, I feel like it's the main thing. I, you know, I start doing my videos because I know definitely this is going to give me like more exposure. But the main thing here out of everything is to just show people like I have customers and people that in the beginning when I was starting off my career, they were following me and I was like, wondering like if I stop painting or I'm still painting or what's going on and I would have love I would love for people that have bought from me in the past to come and see like I'm still doing it regardless of my situation regardless of whatever happened um so that's why I do it I do it because I feel like the compromise is not only with people it's more about me continuing to do something that I love and continue the passion for it and I think that's the main thing. And even though I'm talking about myself, I think that the tips and the, and the, I guess the support and the wanting to push you to do something that you love to, even if it's to a certain extent, not being able to do it full time, but at least to a certain extent, it just makes me a happier person because I know I'm giving out something or resource or a little push to someone that might be struggling out there. So you don't, you never know. So I hope this information is helpful. Again, you can find me on Twitter, like I said. And uh, if you have any suggestions or you have any other tips, you're welcome to post them. Um, 100%. Like I said, I'm new to YouTube. I have no idea yet how to edit or do all that stuff. I'm doing it from my phone. So, you know, that's why I have to like hold the painting this way. And but I hope that you know in the near future I can get a camera, I can get lights, lamps, and all that stuff. So let's see. But for now, I think that my main reason to do the video was to just tell you guys how do I keep being productive without going into the lagoon of procrastination because I could very much go onto that lagoon of procrastination where I will never want to paint and do anything and make the excuse that I have so much important things to do. When you all know that a not so <laughs> an artist that is not working or doing what they're supposed to, they're very cranky people in general. So, all right. So with that, I'll let you guys go. Take good care. If you like this painting, you can actually check it out on Twitter. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much. Bye.